Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. In this video, we'd like to share with you some of the common household messes that we think you should not attempt to clean up with your household vacuum cleaner. Now, the number one item that we think you should not use your vacuum cleaner for is broken glass. Regardless of the size of the chips or pieces of glass, they're obviously very sharp. And with most modern vacuum cleaners, particularly those that use a rotating power head on them, the actual hose has an electrical circuit in it. The sharp glass can cause damage to that, creating an electrical shock hazard, as well as damaging the hose to the point where replacing it becomes very expensive. Another common item that we suggest you don't use your vacuum for is something like thumbtacks, push pins, any of those small sharp objects like that. As well, if you're using a beater bar type of attachment, that can cause some damage to those bars. You should also refrain from using your vacuum to clean up coins. Although it's a nice, quick, easy way to pick them up, again, that can do damage to the rotating brush on the power head of your vacuum cleaner. Something else that we suggest you don't use your home vacuum for is fine dust, such as drywall dust, fine sawdust, flour, or any items like that that are really fine. Unless your vacuum uses a HEPA-style filter, those particles can pass through most filters and get back into the room air. Now another item that we suggest you don't use your vacuum cleaner for is fire ash. One is obviously a fire hazard because it may still be hot, so you definitely would want to let it cool before you attempt to clean it up. Secondly, the ash is really fine and again may pass right through your filters. Now another really important item not to use your vacuum cleaner for is liquids. Although it's very tempting to grab your vacuum cleaner when your child upsets a bowl of Cheerios, it's not a good idea. Once you introduce liquid into your vacuum cleaner, it will coat the inside of the hoses, the filters, your canister, and could eventually turn into mold, which then becomes a health hazard. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully these tips will keep you from damaging your vacuum cleaner. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance, and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. If you have some tips on what not to vacuum, be sure to enter them in the comments below. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.